famous serial killers in England include several individuals who created terror and insecurity during specific periods. One of the most infamous serial killers is Jack the Ripper, who was active in London in the late 19th century. Jack the Ripper is known for brutally murdering a number of sex workers. Jack the Ripper was a notorious serial killer active in the Whitechapel area of London in 1888. Although his identity remains unknown to this day, Jack the Ripper is considered one of the most mysterious and cruel serial killers in criminal history. Here is a general overview of some of the murders associated with him. 1. Marianne Nichols, August 31, 1888 Marianne Nichols was Jack the Ripper's first victim. She was found dead in Bucks Row on August 31, 1888. Her throat and abdomen were brutally mutilated. 2. Annie Chapman, September 8, 1888. Annie Chapman was the second victim. Her body was discovered in the backyard of a house on Hanbury Street on September 8, 1888. Similar to the previous case, her throat was severed and her body suffered horrifying injuries. 3. Elizabeth Stride and Catherine Edus, September 30, 1888. On September 30, 1888, two victims were found relatively close in time. Elizabeth Stride was discovered in Dutfield's yard, while Catherine Edos was found in Mitre Square. Both experienced gruesome injuries. 4. Mary Jane Kelly, November 9, 1888. Mary Jane Kelly is considered Jack the Ripper's final victim. Her body was found in her own apartment. On November 9, 1888, she underwent extensive mutilation. Throughout this series of murders, Jack the Ripper was known to leave peculiar messages to the police and local newspapers, challenging authorities, and creating an atmosphere of insecurity in Whitechapel. Despite intensive police investigations at the time, Jack the Ripper's identity was never revealed, and the mystery remains one of the most famous unsolved cases in criminal history. Numerous theories and hypotheses have been proposed about who Jack the Ripper might have been, but the truth remains elusive. Several other serial killers include Harold Shipman, a doctor convicted of murdering more than 200 patients in 2000. Dennis Rader, known as the BTK Killer, Bind, Torture, Kill, was a serial killer active in the United States, but linked to some murder cases in England. Harold Shipman was an English doctor and serial killer active from the 1970s to 1998. He was born on January 14, 1946, in Nottingham, England. Despite having a friendly and respected appearance, Shipman concealed his dark side as a highly prolific serial killer. Here are some key points about Harold Shipman. 1. Medical Practice Shipman was a general practitioner who ran his medical practice in Hyde, Greater Manchester. He was known among patients and the community as a caring and trustworthy doctor. 2. Modus Operandi Shipman used narcotics, particularly diamorphine, a type of morphine, to kill his patients. He carried out this action by injecting lethal doses, disguising it as medical treatment or pain relief. 3. Serial Killings The number of Shipman's known victims was very high, estimated to be over 200 people. Many victims were elderly patients, and these murders were often associated with attempts to gain inheritance or patient insurance. 4. Arrest and Trial Shipman was eventually caught in 1998 after a fellow doctor became suspicious of his activities and reported him to the authorities. In 2000, Harold Shipman was sentenced to life in prison for murdering more than 15 of his patients. 5. Death Shipman served his life sentence in Wakefield Prison. However, on January 13, 2004, he was found dead in his prison cell in an apparent suicide by hanging. 
This death marked the end of one of the most infamous serial killer cases in British history. The Shipman case raised concerns about medical ethics, doctor supervision, and the justice system. It also prompted changes in medical regulations and death verification procedures in the UK. Now let's continue with Peter Sutcliffe, better known as the Yorkshire Ripper, an English serial killer active in the late 1970s. Here are some key points about Peter Sutcliffe. 1. Birth and Early Life Peter Sutcliffe was born on June 2, 1946, in Bingley, West Yorkshire, England. He grew up in a relatively normal environment and had a work history in various jobs before becoming a serial killer. 2. Modus operandi Sutcliffe targeted victims, predominantly women, often involved in sex work. He killed them using various methods, including hammer blows or stabbing with a knife. Sutcliffe primarily aimed at the head and neck areas. 3. Murders and arrest Between 1975 and 1980, Sutcliffe killed at least 13 women and injured several others. He managed to elude the police for several years, primarily due to investigative errors. However, in January 1981, Sutcliffe was apprehended by the police. 4. Trial and Sentence In May 1981, Peter Sutcliffe was sentenced to life imprisonment for the murders. Despite claiming that he heard the voice of God instructing him to kill prostitutes, Sutcliffe was widely regarded as a cruel serial killer. 5. Incarceration and Health Conditions Sutcliffe was held in various prisons in the UK. During his incarceration, he experienced mental health issues, including a diagnosis of paranoid schizophrenia. 6. Death Peter Sutcliffe passed away on November 13, 2020, due to complications from COVID-19. His death marked the end of the life of a serial killer who had instilled fear in society for several decades. The Peter Sutcliffe case garnered public attention and prompted changes in the police approach to serial murders and the protection of the community.